Okay. Yeah, you can stop sharing now. Who yeah. else wants to share their screen for us? I'm trying to stop. I don't know why it's now. Uh, I'm trying to stop. Who else? Who else wants to share their screen for us to see what you've done so far? Yeah, Nick. All right. Talk from here. So I've shared mine. Um, please ignore the tax there because. I just filled it up with stuff unrelated to That's all right. the project. I just wanted to put something there. Um, what I found challenging was more like how you can easily make a mistake, especially when you're doing the start okay. to finish. I've not finished it either okay. as well, rather. So I found that you could easily make a mistake in terms of um, linking. And what I would have, I would like to clarify is Yes. I, read, I noticed that when I'm trying to link it here, yeah, it changes the date. So it's until I do the start to finish. Let me open here. Let me just expand it. It's until I do either the start to finish or finish to start that it corrects the date. So I was wondering, what start, if you don't you know start, the actual date of it? Did you say start to finish? No, no, I'm just saying everything. The start to finish, finish to start. I just mixed it up just to have a bit of everything. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes, okay, let me, I don't know if I can find one. So let's say, for instance, if I had linked this to, yeah. and um, it will now update the date from 09 here to carry on. So the next line will show me like oh, 10, 04. Yeah. Yeah. It's until yeah. I go and edit it here, which is yeah. in between. And, yeah. So what if, is there a way to do it where, because for instance, if I don't know, have, know the, the date of head, how can I do it to get that date back? No, is there a way to do it? No, no, don't forget what you're trying to do here. What you're trying to do here is because don't forget, that's why you've put it as auto shadow. Okay. Yeah. Auto shadow means automatically schedule these obeying my command. Okay? okay. So what you've said is, you know what? It's going to take you two days to eat your rice. And after two days to eat your rice, you now take another two days to eat your beans. Okay. So today is the 4th of April. It's going to take us two days to eat our rice, meaning 4th and 5th of April is where we want to eat our rice. Okay? We're mm -hmm. not saying that after we finish eating our rice is when we'll start eating our beans, meaning we can't start eating beans until the 6th of April. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if we now say, no, 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 that is not what we're talking about. We can actually eat both rice and beans together. Okay? Don't forget that because you did start to I mean, finish to start, non automatically eating beans will take the 6th of April. But you're now saying okay. that no, no, we can eat both together. So now if you are now putting both to start to start, eating beans will now be what? Will not be what now? What date now? Will not be the 4th of April and not the 6th of April anymore. Okay. So that is right. what is happening to your schedule. Okay. okay. So I everything is still that. right. You're just asking it to obey the command. Command, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then the quickly, second thing I've is... Seen, I've seen something very quickly that I need to talk about on your schedule. Please okay. avoid linking your summary task to task. Whenever you're doing your planning um, in MS Project, yes. avoid linking summary task. I can see you linking summary task. Summary task is line 12. Yes, I was going to ask you about that. That was what I wanted to ask you about. Always avoid okay, linking so this, summary tasks. So link, link, task, link. Okay. link the task to the first task within that summary task. Okay? Okay, so, you have so to link I should unlink this to them. Yeah, unlink that, then unlink 11 and 13 okay. together. Okay. Okay, yeah, um, go ahead. So I'll do eleven to thirteen. Yes. No. So 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 okay. that's where the mistake is coming from. So you could see. So if you click, okay. if you click okay. eleven, click eleven, click eleven only. Click your control key down and click on thirteen. <laughs> Press your control key. And then click 13. Yes, that's it. You can now link. Okay. okay. So with that, you're not linking 12. Oh. So you have to unlink your 12 now. Unlink your 12. So go to 11 and 13. 11, 13 and unlink. 
Yeah, they don't link it. The other, no, that's link. The other one. Okay, the other one. Sorry. Yes. That's removing the link. That's it. Make sense? Okay, yes. All right. Yes, so that's uh, why I wanted to ask. Is, your hand is down. Are you, well, you were going to ask a question before. Is that answered already? Are you talking? Yes, that, that's what I wanted to ask you. Yes, that's me. No, it's talking about talking about the hand was raised. Okay, okay. All right, okay. So I have to do the same in all those ones. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yes, thank you so much. All of that. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I'm actually um my other machine is down, and that's why I have it. I'm joining with uh, uh with another device. So okay. I I actually wanted to um uh, ask questions um using Nikes um. Ah okay. Thank you, Nikki. So uh while I was doing mine, I noticed that the um I don't uh I don't know what to call it, like this IR staff. Yes. The number of days does not tally with the number of days of the tax under under it. So I was thinking uh immediately I selected everything and indent. Uh, the number of days should tally with the number of days under it, or possibly even if I done maybe start to start, finish to finish, and everything is linked yeah. like that. Yeah. It should aggregate the number of days, and we'll have it. Uh, we'll have it there. Correct. So yes. um, that's one of the challenge I had. I was oh, actually, okay. and again, can we? Can I? Uh, I was trying to link three tags together. It's possible okay. I have maybe uh what's it called like um maybe uh, access uh, access um software uh software compatibility hardware compatibility and maybe one other thing that I want to make start to start we can okay. do these three uh together yeah. at the yeah. same time yeah yeah, yeah but you then can uh, I got confused uh it was. Uh, everything would be uh, got scattered at some point. I was just linking, linking, on linking, linking, scattering everything. Okay, so, at least you've learned. You were able to learn a lot, right? With the scattering. Yes. Yes. You can link. You can link one million tasks together. Okay. You can link. You can link one one thousand and one task to one task and all that. You can do all of that. But like I said, like you realized, it was it's always confusing. So keep it simple every time. Okay. Always keep it simple. If you have to create another task to link, then create another task to link. Always keep it simple. Okay. It's okay. Um, I'm I'm surprised that you're saying, and we can't see your laptop now. I'm surprised you're saying that it's not aggregating. It should aggregate everything to sum up to what you have on the summary task. But what it will not do for you is if you're saying that you know what a task is a task is five days. Okay, task A is five days. And task B is three days. So if you're saying it's finished to start, automatically summary task will be eight days, right? Because it's five plus three. But if you have yeah. five days, if you have five days for task A. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh who is um Juliet? You might need to help us mute Femi. So if you have task A as five days and task B is three days, and you're saying both task A and task B will finish together. Your summary task will take five days and not eight days. Does that make sense, uh, um, Tokumo? What I just explained, does that make sense? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. If you have five days for task A and you have three days for task, uh, uh, for task B and you're saying that both will start together, your summary activity will be five days and not eight days. Okay, because because you expect task A and task B to run concurrently, even though one is one is finishing before one. Okay. All right. Anything else from anybody? Who else has got something to share with us? Okay. Um. Sorry, I have one more question, but this one is a follow from the last um um session. So, uh, you know, the last time uh, we you said uh, we learned about uh, planning, we define activities, mm. then uh, we go on and on like that. Mm. But um, uh, so while you were asking us to uh, mention activities for uh, for the Office 365 um, mm. project, 
Yeah. Uh, we, we mentioned budgeting. Some mentioned schedule. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we mentioned the uh, requirement analysis and baseline. Mm -hmm. But uh, while we were uh, um, while you were um, writing out the activities, mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing like uh, maybe budgeting and all of that. Uh, that actually really uh, got me thinking. I, that's why I kept quiet all through the class because I was trying to like uh, put everything together because. Um, uh, in my mind, I, I was thinking, um, try, uh, maybe um, trying to like find out what um, what maybe package of the Office 365 would the maybe company need and all of that understanding because in the book uh, Brilliant Project Management, yeah. uh, we don't just what what I learned, you don't just assume. Uh, if somebody says I need a house, you still need to ask them what type of house. What type of doors do you want? What types of windows? Uh, how do you want the house to be? Is it a story building? Is it this? Will it be uh, what's it called, a mansion or and all of that? So that's why I mentioned requirement gathering and baselining, and uh, sometimes uh, budgeting too. So I'm, I, I was trying to uh, wrap my head around it. Are activities different from all those ones we mentioned? No, they're not. They're not. Most of those activities. So so it's because I didn't I didn't um, go into detail of the activity from start to finish. If you have to go into that, then we're going to have all, like 200 or 400 list of activities to get. I only just picked up some key activities just for us to learn how to use MS Project. So you're talking about, uh, um, I, I will even say, you know, we need to start from, you know, create mandate, create project mandate, sign off, review project mandate, sign off project mandate. Then from there, we'll go into, you know what, uh, uh, um, develop your race, develop your lessons learned document. All of those are key activities that needs to go into your plan. Okay, loads of activities that needs to go in. Um, create budget, get approval for your budget, sign off budget. Yes, all of these are uh, present your budget to the steering committee or to the management and all that. All of these are key activities that needs to go into your plan. Those are more like governance, they're more like the governance. So on your projects, you can have governance, you can have all of that. Does that make any sense? So it's not really, uh, uh, let me show you one um, stuff that I was looking at today that I will send out to each and every one of us. Okay. Who is sharing? Let me share. Let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Is it big enough? I need a response. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can, but it's oh, tiny. Nobody is answering me. It's tiny. I'm trying to expand it. Is it still tiny? Okay. I know what to do. All right. It shouldn't be tiny anymore now. Oh, I've not stopped sharing. Sorry. Let me know when you can see the screen. And is it bigger? Hey, it's it's uh, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, talking about to get to your question, this is a typical of a plan. Okay, a typical plan from start to finish of a project, not going to technical. So I didn't go into a lot because I believe that you know what, these are normal governance stuff. I just went into technical uh, activities, okay? So if you look at these, develop business case, perform optional analysis, perform cost, whatever, analysis, perform problem analysis, this is requirement analysis, visibility, and all of that. So you could see that, yes, in there, we've got all of that. And if you look at planning, then we go into planning stage. We create project plan, identify what milestone is, identify the phases and all of that. Then we go into resources, then we go into finance that you were talking about. Then itemize labor costs, itemize equipment costs, itemize material costs, schedule costs, then document financial plan. 
okay? So you could see that this is detailed stuff. Then from there, you're going to build your project deliverables, then the closeouts. These are all basic governance, end-to-end -end project stuff. This one is not even going into technical, okay? So you could see, I want to pick up those activities just to quickly teach about, uh, um, about MS projects. And you will agree with me that what you what I'm showing you, the list of those technical activities are not even complete technical activities. They don't even make a lot of sense. Okay? Nick, go ahead. I just wanted to, yeah, you're actually cracking up. Yes, for me. I thought it was from my side, but I just want to ask you, will you be willing to share this particular template with us? I don't know how sensitive it is or if it's not, if this it's one, something yes, you can I'm just sharing, share with us. I'm sharing these with you because I want you to do these. So as you can see, this, act, this uh, long list of activities, that's going to be your next work. Oh, it's breaking. To say, you know what, well, I want you to convert. This is an expression. I'm breaking. Yeah, we can hear you now. Interesting. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay. So I said yes, yes. I'm sending this to every one of you. I will send this out tonight. Okay. okay. Because it's going to be your next project, next homework. This is an Excel spreadsheet. I want this to be converted into um into MS project. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. This is dependency. Yeah, I'll it out tonight. You can see the duration. Yeah, you can make up you can make up the resources, the duration, and the start and the finish date. Uh now I'll remove the finish date so that I can manipulate things in there. All right, good stuff. So can we all can we all see that, right? Does that answer your question, Tokumo? Yes, it does. Thank excellent, you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Integrated. So let's do resource allocation today. Let's try and do resource allocation today. And that will be a we'll focus on resource allocation. How come we don't have IJ today? That's strange. Can someone check up on her? Am I still sharing my screen? No. No, you're not. Okay, let me see when you can see my screen. And is it big enough this time around? Very small. Please answer me. It's still very small. What's happening today? Something is wrong, really, because this was the same, the same screen I used last week. Is it better? Oh, uh, ask question. Is it better? No. What's happening tonight? Okay. Is it big enough? Is it big enough or you're still losing me? We can see it, but it's just not very, very... It's much better. It's much better. Okay. That's strange. Really, really strange tonight. Let me, let me, let me look it bigger. 
<laughs> okay. So let's do some resource allocation tonight. So we've identified our activities. We've sequenced our activities. We've had a relationship to them. We know what is finish to finish. We know what is start to start. Um, so let's try and put some, um, some what is it called? Some resources to it. So let's assume conduct assessment. So one of the things you want to do is you want to come to view. Okay, view, you want to come to resource sheet. This is what I did, come to view, then come to resource sheet. Under your resource sheet, you can populate things to say EN, EN, N. We've got Fumi M. We have Femi M. We have uh, Ola A. We have Zakiat B. We have Tokumbo A. We have then we have Angela E. Who am I missing? Then we have Tommy. Okay. So you can see that I, what we've done so far is I, to I, I, uh, please, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, I think I missed something. Where did you select the resource thing from? So task. Let's go to view. View, I yes. can't see. View. Then press resource sheet. Okay. Have you seen it? Uh, yes, I'm going to try it on my. Okay, thank you. Okay, excellent. So you go to view, then you populate your resources. So have we all populated our resources, please, for those who's got their MS project? Can I go ahead? If you can speak, just type. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling the back tonight. We're not talking. Um. So I uh. Okay. So I've put. I've gone to view. I've clicked on resource sheets. Yes. So, but does it give me the sheet? Uh, I'll. It just gives me a blank space. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna give you a blank. It's gonna give you. It should give you. It should give you this like something like an Excel spreadsheet. Yes. Know? Yeah. Then populate. Then type in all the names. If okay. you type in all the names, it will. It will populate the other things for you. Voices. You don't like it. So keep typing in for me. For me. Mm. Am I breaking? Yes, off and on. Oh dear. Okay, give me one second. Let me change my internet. Let me change my connectivity. Uh, okay, is it better? Oh, now it's better. Okay, that's I've, I've I've changed my internet, so that's why. Okay, so can I? Do we all have a resource sheet populated, guys? Just give me thumbs up if you have your resource sheet populated. Just give me thumbs up. Um, Juliet, do you mind muting Ian for now? What was that, sorry? Do you mind uh, putting... Okay, that's fine. Ian is on mute, all right. All right. I will assume that we've all populated our resource sheet. So let's go back to Gantt chat. Let's go back to our Gantt chat. There are two ways, two ways in which you can do your resource uh, allocation. Okay, there are two ways in which you can do your resource allocation. I'll, I'll show us both ways. The first way is to double click on the task 
So we want to do, put resources on who is conduct, who is going to conduct an assessment of the current IT infrastructure, who is that person responsible for that. So all I need to do is double click on that task. When you double click on the task, you will get this task information command. When you get the task information command, you can go to resources. And when you get to resources, you can come into your drop down, and all the names you've populated in your resource sheets will come down here. So let's assume the person responsible is Angela and Angela and Adedeji. But we're saying that, you know what, we don't need Angela's full time on it. We only need half of Angela's time on that and also half of Adedeji's time on the project. On that particular task, what we'll do is we just say, okay, we need 50% we only need 50% of your time, and we only need 50% of Adelaide's time. Okay, so with that, you can press your OK, and you will see those names populated on the bar chart. So you looking at your plan, you can actually look at your plan immediately and see who is responsible for that particular task and say, okay, yes, Angela and Adeleji are assigned to these. We only need half of Angela's time and half of Adeleji's time on the project, on that particular task. Okay, does that make sense? Do we all get that? Have we all done that? No, I've not done that. I'm sorry. Um, okay, you want me to go back? Yeah, what did you do when you got to Gantt's chart? Sorry, I missed that step. So when you get to Gantt's chart, you double click on the activities you want to assign resources to. So my the activity we want to assign resources to is conduct an assessment of the current IT infrastructure. So you double click on it. No, oh, okay. When you double click on it, this is what you will see. Okay, I got it. Okay, you now click on resources. Yeah. When you click on resources, on your resource name, your resources that we populated on the resource sheets are here already. So pick the resource you want to assign to that particular uh, uh, task. You want to allocate to that particular task. Okay? Okay. So, and I said you can change the unit. You can change the unit of that particular task. If you know the unit, you can say, you know what, 50%. 50% of Angela and 50% of Adelaide is what I need. Okay? Yeah, okay. Got it. Make sense? Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Does that make sense to anybody? At least it makes sense to Deji. Does that make sense? Okay, Nike, thanks for the thumbs up. Um, Tokumbo, any thumbs up from you or I should repeat myself? Thumbs up, thank you. Angela, thumbs up from you or I need to repeat myself. Thumbs up, thank you. For me, thumbs up from you, or oh, I need to repeat myself. Thumbs up, all right. IJ, oh, IJ is just coming in, so I won't ask you. Ian? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. Um, Ola, eh? Oh, Femi, thanks. Yeah, I know I, I missed you. I was going to come back to you. Okay, you'll stop. All right, Tommy, are we good? And Zakiat, are we good? Excellent. So I'll give you the next three minutes to assign resources to the remaining activities you have on your plan. Okay, you can play with those activities. You can just put one person there to say 100%. You can put 100, or you can put the whole team there to say 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 and all that. Okay. So I'll give you next five minutes to do that.
Let me know when you're done. Is anybody done? Give me a thumbs up if you're done. Almost there. Okay. Sorry, is it possible for um the um the task to have um over allocated um yes yes it is resources. very possible. yeah it's very possible and we'll talk about that because um I allocated a particular number of people for a particular project I mean and, task and, and, and it's saying red. they've gone red um, it has um, in front of them right over allocated um resources. That's fine, no problems. So will I have to readjust that? I will explain, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it, okay? So I could just leave it? Yeah, just leave it. I'll talk about it, just leave it. 
Okay. So who is done? late already and i see how my colleagues still asking me questions on this other side interesting great thank you so um in assigning people to tasks we could have just one person assigned to a particular task isn't it yeah okay great thanks do you want to share your screen did you so that I can use you, I can use your plan to talk about your allocation of resources. That's a challenge. I couldn't log in on my system. Ah, okay. To Zoom, I don't know why it's not even loading the app at all. Ah, okay. Who else has got over allocation of resources? Who else has got Redman in front of? Can we have uh, three people on? On a task. Yes. You can have ten people on a task. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's assume, let's assume is a construction company. I mean, it's a construction project and you're laying bricks. And you've got, you've got seven people laying the bricks to say, you know what, lay foundation, if that's the old task you have. For lay foundation, definitely you have like 30 people working on lay foundation. If you will assign the 30 people on it. Who is sharing? Ah, oh, for me. Okay. Yeah, I have red men all over. <laughs> okay. all right so are we are we all on the same page as for me guys please give me thumbs up are you on the same page as for me are you've allocated your resources excellent all right good stuff okay so we can go ahead so aha aha for me can you change can you change your eight so this is what you're talking about um for uh, talking about so this is what you're talking about here, because if you look at if you look at um, line 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 that are under infrastructure setup, you want to wonder why is it 278 days? Okay, when I specifically told you that the project is a six month or three month project, how come you have almost a whole year project for me on your stuff? So how come you have 278 days to deliver? Yeah, change that to auto schedule. Yeah, you, how come you have 278 days to configure Office 365 account for users? That should be 50 days there about, or how many days? 10 days there about. Yeah, let's just put 50 days there. Just type in five zero. Okay. All right. Why did the one on top change? Because I put in the five zero, and for some reason the infrastructure setup changed to fifty days. Yes, well. because that's a summary. That's a summary of all the tasks underneath. Okay. okay. So it's an addition. It's an addition of all the tasks under it. That's what you have up there. Yeah, but the tasks below it are more than that. Yeah, because of the way, because we've not linked it. So if you link it, let's do let's do a magic. Click on nine and ten. Click on nine and ten and link nine and ten together. Yeah, and link together. Put, go and put on. Go to task. Task. And link. That should increase the date duration. Yeah, you can see. Okay. It has increased your duration because now you've linked two tasks that you're saying that you know after fifty days we're doing forty days. Okay. 
Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. So with this now, you can see that you've solved your overallocation of resources. But what of the ones that were up? There's no more red man. Okay. What that was telling you before, what that was telling you before, because you didn't put the link, what that was telling you is you're saying that, you know, Ola will configure Office 365 from 28th of March. On that 28th of March, again, you're saying Ola needs to verify domain ownership. Okay, you're saying, I mean, prepared network infrastructure, that same Ola. Do you get, so you're saying that you need Ola to work on, today is Thursday. It's just like saying, you know, I need to deliver PM training and I also need to go and deliver a, a, a manual tester training at the same time. On the, on the same day. Uh, yeah, exactly, same time, be, uh, between nine and 11. What has happened to me? I've been over allocated. You get so what we what we've done now is to say you know what well, yes do PM training from nine to eleven, then from eleven to one, you can now do the manual testing. So you can see with that now I'm not over allocated or I'm not allocated over allocated anymore. So are you trying to say because the link was not there that was why we had that issue? So presuming that, the link was there and the person was the there link was there. Yes, as you the link was there and the person is still overallocated, then you now need to sit down to now do your resource utilization. To now say, okay, based on the based on the plan that we have, Ola A seems to be overallocated because Ola A is expected to be doing this activity at the same time as this activity. What do we need to do? What we need to do is two ways. We can either bring in someone else to come and do that task and say, because Ola A is overallocated, I've analyzed this plan. So as a project manager, this is a good tool for you. As a PMO person or as a planner, this is a good tool for you to say, you know, guys, based on all the plans we've had, we have, we are having now, this is the issue we are having. Ola A is overlocated. We expect Ola A to do task one, two, three, four at the same time. And Ola A doesn't have the bandwidth to do that. So it is either we move that one of those activities forward to when Ola A will be free, or we're bringing someone else onto the project to come and work on this task alongside Ola A. While Ola A is doing that, someone else will be doing that. So you can use this plan to make a case while you're speaking to your stakeholders or you're speaking to people. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. So, so if you have like about maybe you said you could have like maybe over 10 people on the project. So presumably yes. you have like about 50 people. Yeah. Um, how do you um how do you break down the percentage? You know, like you could maybe so you have like thirty seven, for example. Because yeah. at the moment we're just putting in okay, there are two people fifty, there are three people maybe thirty three point something percent. But if you then had like quite a number, you know, do it on that same task, maybe about thirty seven or things like that. How then do you then allocate the percentage? Yeah, so you need to go one by one to say, you know what, based on this particular task, how 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 much time? So don't forget the percentage is all about time. Mm -hmm. Okay, the percentage is all about time. So you're saying that how much time of Nike do we have on this particular task? And Nike will tell you, you know what, oh, it's Monday. On Mondays, I always have, have my Monday is eight hours. But out of that eight hours, I've got my BAU activity for uh, six hours. So I can only give you two hours of my time on Monday. Okay. So if she says she can only give you two hours of her time on Monday, and that task is on a Monday, you're only going to be assigning 15% or 20%, I mean 15% on that particular task for that day, based on what you've spoken to her. Okay? Or you can say, you know what? Based on what you know, you can say, oh, on that particular task, you know, I, I only need 50% of of uh, of uh, Nikkei's time on that particular project. So if you're saying that I only need 15% of Nikkei's time on that particular project, then you can put 15% there. But you can say, you know what, for Zekiat, I need 50% of Zekiat on that project, on that task. So it's 50% of Zekiat on the task, or it's 10% of Nikkei on it on the same task, based on the availability or based on what is needed by you. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes, it does. So, yeah. 
Okay. Anybody else? I stop sharing. Um, yes, please. Anything else from anybody tonight? Does that make sense? Yeah, so, it does. Uh, I've still got a couple of Redman uh, Mopo on yes. my so if you have a couple of projects, red, yeah, that's fine. You can always have red. Red having red doesn't is not the end of your plan. Okay, just to have that conversation to say, you know what, what else can I do on this particular project to make sure that I have my resources well well captured and well presented. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other question from anybody? All right. Good night. I will send. I'm um, sorry, I I wanted to ask you. Okay, go ahead. Is okay. it possible to have over a hundred? Because I just played around with something. I just put one fifty percent, and it actually accepted it. So, is it possible to have it, over a hundred percent? It's gonna accept oh. it, but, but but quote unquote, it doesn't make any sense because one hundred percent. Okay. All right. Okay, that's fine. If you're saying it's one fifty percent, that means the person is working overtime. Yeah. On that particular task, that means the person is not doing the normal uh, nine to five that the calendar is saying that means the person is not doing nine to twelve okay okay all right thank you all right welcome anything else from anybody tonight all right thank you i'll send that particular file